Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. It is April 6th and I'm continuing on working on the render target interface which now that I'm seeing it come together I'm, I'm really liking it. So the idea here for those of you who haven't been uh, who are just tuning in is that I have the ability for domain objects to render themselves and previously that just took a, a label uh, which not only crossing the streams between the UI and domain didn't allow for me to render the text field and I wanted to be able to render the text field so I spent the last couple of episodes factoring out a render target interface which was component agnostic. That's done now and now what I'd like to do is actually implement uh, an adapter for that render target for the text field so that when I type in a negative value or anything else um, I'll see a negative value. I'll see this show up in red. I also want to see it show up with an invalid icon like the other ones do. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and and see what we can do. So what we need to do is we need to have a dollars text field adapter that renders properly. Let's go ahead and take a look at how dollars text field test works right now. Right now it says that the field is reformatted when it loses focus. Yeah, that's still correct, but I think it needs to be a little more sophisticated than that. I think what we want it to say is that the field is not only reformatted when it loses focus, but that it, um, it renders itself appropriately. Now, I, one way to do that would be to test to see if the field turns red, but I don't really want to do that because I want to leave the question of what color it should turn or whether or not there's an icon or anything like that to the domain objects to figure out. Um, but that's a good starting point. Let's go ahead and start there and see, see where it takes us. The other, so let's see, the other option would be to say so I really don't want to be crossing the package boundaries in that way. The, the other option would be to implement, what if we, let's implement text field render target adapter and write some tests around that and um, hmm. yeah. Uh, the reason I'm pausing there is that we don't have a generic text field. We have a dollars text field. We want the icon to show up in a specific spot. It's, you know, it's very specific to our situation here. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and test field. Let's see. We are negative values rendered in red or negative values rendered by domain class. That will make our intent a little more clear. Yeah, we've got all this this stuff too. It's just Yeah, well, this is a start. So we'll set that to a minus 10. Assert that that is equal to 10 like that. And we're also going to want, that should be working just fine. I'm not sure why we're getting this error. Oh. Um, that should just work because that doesn't affect anything that we haven't already programmed. Yeah. But we should also be able to assert that the color, assert that the color is red. And there's the other thing. If I ever change that to mauve or blue or something like that, I don't want to have to come and change all my tests. So, um,
that should fail. It should say expected red was black. Yeah, expected red was black. Okay, so so this should be pretty straightforward. I should be able to I just want to make an adapter like I did for the other case. So this is going to be a dollars text field render target adapter. There's a mouthful. Implements render target. Set text. Oh, and we'll need to take the um, we'll need to take a dollars text field. Now, so that should fail in exactly the same way. Now we're going to want to just forward these on again. So field dot set text. This one we're not going to do anything with yet. This one we're not going to do anything with yet. This one, and that should pass, but it doesn't. Oh, because I haven't hooked it up yet. So rather than saying if dollars is valid, when focus is lost, we're going to say dollars dot render new resources. Uh, new dollars that this. Okay, not super pretty. Oh, but if it's not valid, we don't want it to Yeah, so I guess we still need that if dollars is valid. That was good test catch there. Uh, that's a something that could have easily gotten broken without me knowing it if that what if the test hadn't been there. So I was really happy to see that failure. So there we go. We've got the new adapter in place. Don't love the way the test is working, but I think it's okay. I'm wondering if there's any way to make 
the decision about whether or not to render happen anywhere else, but no, I don't think it is. Guess, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can do there. Okay, so next up would be, um, oh, actually, that should be working now. So that's what we've been trying to do, and it should work. Let's see it work. Yeah, all right, that's just, that's awesome. Great, I love it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will catch you next time.